Welcome back to Transform Your Mind to Transform Your Life, the podcast. This is Life Coach Brenda Young, and you're listening to 5-Minute Fridays with Coach Brenda. Today, I want to talk on the topic, your enemies are in your camp. How many of us have been betrayed by someone we call friend or family? It happens every day. But what makes these betrayals more painful is that we can't believe that they did this to us, right? So I want to talk about what happens when you have enemies in your camp. And of course, we look at the greatest teacher of them all, Jesus. So Jesus, this is how Jesus handled having an enemy in his camp. So we're going to look at Matthew 26, 14, and it reads, then Judas Iscariot, one of the 12 disciples, went to the leading priests and asked, how much will you pay me to betray Jesus to you? And they gave him 30 pieces of silver. From that time on, Judas began looking for an opportunity to betray Jesus. So Jesus' enemy was in his own camp. One is his very own disciples. Who was supposed to be worshiping him? This reminds me of a quote that my grandmother used to say often. Your best friend can become your worst enemy. I'm sure that many of you listening have experienced this personally. That someone you call friend or brother or sister or spouse betrays you with no provocation other than jealousy. Jesus was there working his purpose, healing the sick, and one of his disciples seeks out his enemy and asks them, what will you pay me to betray Jesus? And then he returned as one of the disciples pretending to be his follower while waiting for his opportunity to betray Jesus. Happens all the time. I can imagine your pain right now that I'm triggering an emotion because I'm feeling it in my spirit as I'm talking about this, right? This is what happens when your best friend sleeps with your man. All the time she was pretending to be your friend, she was waiting for the opportunity to stab you in the back. And guess what? You gave her this opportunity when you call her and tell her everything that was going on between you and your man and you were fighting. That was her opportunity to sneak right in and take your man. Ladies, it happens in the man's camp as well. Men, your best friend is secretly eyeing up your woman, thinking she's fine. And as soon as they're trouble in paradise, he moves in, especially if you get caught cheating. Do you know that women are usually rebounders, right? You do it to me, I'm going to do it to you. That's how they think, right? So if your man got caught cheating, all the people that are waiting on the sidelines are just moving in for the kill, right? But to me, the worst kind of betrayal is when your blood relatives, like your brother or sisters, betray you. I have a personal story that happened in my own family. I just buried my aunt last week. Her life was never the same after she came home one day and found her sister sleeping with her husband. The pain and shame were unbearable. I can't believe to um, begin to tell you the fallout that happened from that betrayal. The entire family was, was upside down. You know, how can this possibly happen? Yeah, the family was not the same after that. So when your family betrays you, it is not just you, it's the entire family that suffered the consequences. And you know, I was looking at her eulogy and I said, they didn't even mention that she was married. <laughs> and I said to myself, yeah, they cut out that person out of her memory because he was a scumbag. Not just the husband, but the sister too, you know, and she got her comeuppance. But yes, betrayal 
from your brothers, your sisters, or your blood is very painful because just like Judas that was supposed to be worshiping Jesus and in his camp, you think that your blood is going to be there for you. That's what family is all about, right? But finally, let's look at spousal betrayal because this is the most common one. <laughs> one of my favorite movies, and I don't know why, but one of my favorite movies was Sleeping with the Enemy. Do you remember that? It's a perfect analogy for when you're getting betrayed by your spouse. And also the movie Two-Faced, right? With John Travolta. Um, right, so Two-Faced, and you also have Two Face in the in the Joker movies, but yes, sleeping with the enemy and Two Face, bring that up to your imagery as I talk about this. So this is what happens in your house when you have spousal betrayal. Everybody is pretending to be someone in front of your face, and then when your back is turned, they're betraying you behind your back. Now, Jesus was all-knowing. He knew that Judas, Judas was going to betray him and that it was all parts of God's plan. But you know what he said? He said that Judas would wish he was dead after his betrayal. And he did. That's why after he betrayed Jesus, he threw away the 30 pieces of silver and killed himself. The enemies in your camp never get the satisfaction they wanted after betraying you. But what the enemy meant for evil, God is going to turn it around for your good. This is how you need to look at the betrayal from your friends and family members. God is using their evil for your good. Don't get all, you know, your panties in a bunch and whatever. Let it hurt, let it flow through you and recognize that, hey, they have just shown you who they are. And when someone shows you who they are, this is when you believe them. <laughs> All right, well, listen, thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of Five Minute Fridays with Coach Myrna. Just wanted you to be aware, right, that there's people that are close to you, that are in your camp, that are not wishing you well. They're looking to see you stumble. They're looking to take what you got. And you just got to bring it to your awareness, right? So once again, thanks for tuning in. If you're listening to this on iTunes, we'd love for you to rate and review. If you're watching this on YouTube, we'd love for you to subscribe. Until next time, namaste.